new week. And guess what? It's raining. It's been raining, but it's just stopped raining. So now it's stopped raining, what we're going to do... No, it started raining. Can't win, can you? We're going to get the fridge into the Rome Rome now. So I cleaned it all up, as you noticed last week. We're going to get it in, and what we're going to do is we're going to wire it up and check it on the electrics, and then push it back in, get the gas connect up and check it on the gas, then we'll get the fridge in, and then we'll run it on the electric, and then I'll do a gas test, because what we've done is we've broken the gas pipe. Well, we haven't broken the gas pipe, we've disconnected the gas pipe. So when we connect back up again, we need to gas test again. Now, that summed my wick up. We're on a Monday morning, the battery's gone on the Camry and it was saying 97%. So that's how our week's gonna pan out. So let's take a journey on this week, see what happens. First job, let's get this fridge in and then we can move on to the next jobs. Okay, we've wired every the 12 volts and we've wired the 230. So what we're going to do now is test. So I've got the hook up in. I've got the meter here, which is saying no watts. And the reason being is I trip the consumer unit. Yeah, we've got power coming on now. So can you see how it says naught down here? Reason is I've turned the battery charger off as well. So what we're going to do now, I'll turn that one off as well. Let's test. So as you can see now, we're up to 135. So that's the element now starting to warm up to get the fridge cold. And it looks like we're on for a winner. So what we're gonna do, we'll just leave it a couple of minutes, just make sure it doesn't trip, which I know it's not going to. We'll push the fridge in a little bit more, see the gas valve there. We'll attach the gas to it, switch the gas on, and then we'll test the fridge on the gas. And then we've got the nice job of getting it all back in. We've got to put all the cooker, the cooker, the hobs back together as well. So we're pleased with the element. So now let's get the gas side done. So we've hooked up the gas now. Fridge is in, gas test is on, so at the moment we've got gas going in, so I'm going to isolate now, oops, I'm going to turn the gas off from there, and that's the gas we've got in the van, so if there was a leak now, that'd start to drop down, and it's not dropping down, so we'll put the gas on, and we'll see, if that's gonna fall, isn't it? I'm gonna put that in there, I think. Let's see if the fridge works. That's your selector there. Put that one on there. Right, so gotta let the gas come through as well. There you go. Take your finger off. And can you see the can you see the oh yeah, you can see the flame down there. There we go. And unbelievable, everything's working. So we're gonna put this back together now and then I will run it on the electric for the day. I'll do a gas test and then I'll run it on the gas as well. So I'll turn this off. And let's get cracking. Following me. <laughs> what are you doing? I was taking a photograph of this. <laughs> it's a six birth motorhome. Yeah. Deathless. A deathless trend. Trendy. Hmm. Shall we have a look at it? We might as well. Uh, I'm just having a look at this we've just had in there, a hobby. Look at that. Looks like the 18, doesn't it, with its spotlights on at the why top. Has it got, why has it got spotlights like that before? <laughs> 
Now that came in the other day and I only popped my head in. We'll have a look at that throughout the, this week because it's, it's been here a couple of days and it's sold straight away. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, I've only popped my head in. It's, it's got a lot of kit on it as well. Oh. So we will have a look at that at some point. Maybe they really like the spotlights. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at this trend. So this is a um, 2020 trend, six, about six and a half metres long. Um, six berths, six belted seats. One thing with this, it's on the Fiat Di Cato. Um, it's all, it's been here. Yeah. It's automatic as well. That's a thing, we've got a stat sheet here. So, yeah, it's only done about 18,000 miles. Couple of owners, that's it. Um, so, but yeah, let's show you up here. Ooh. Good size bed up there. Really good size bed. Now, I know this is a six berth, but I'm probably thinking four berth would be brilliant for family four. Mm. And I'll tell you why, because you've got that over there. Yeah. Right, and if you notice to the back, you've got two bunks. Yeah. So if there's four of you, there's no faffing around making beds up or anything like that. So it's quite easy. Now this does make a bed up, because I'm just spotting here. You could have it if you two singles really couldn't you oh yeah if you wanted to um i can't get that down oh i can but obviously this will make up your conventional way of making up a double bed mm. um we're gonna when you're not gonna get a big kitchen area in here because obviously um a lot of the space is taken up with beds and everything so let's have a look three burner hob um sink and then you've got the grill and the oven nice lockers yeah. The nice lockers, we've got the LEDs above. Um, is that the. <laughs> Stop it now. Mess it Look at that tell it's huge. It's I've checked. Great make. Let's just pull. Um, storage in there, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, there's everything stored in there. And then we've got the two bunks at the back. Good, really nice slim line fridge there. Really good okay. size, and I like it how it's all matching up as well. Um, wardrobe. Good size. Two hundred. And then, oh, it's on the toilet. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, look, look. We'll turn that around. There you go. The shower's Doesn't here. that work well? It's a good wet room. It does. That really works well. And we'll close that again. Why do they do it separate yeah. like that? What do you mean? Like, well, you can't, like, if you think about it, you can't really get a separate shower and toilet. So, if, if this was a shower area here, yeah. you'd be getting water everywhere, wouldn't you? Right? Yeah. So, if you're having a shower. So, if you close that now and have a shower. Yeah, but they haven't. What? Leveled out the floor, so you're still gonna have wet floor by your toilet. Yeah, well, it'll run down, won't it, to the plug hole? Mm. You see? Really and truthfully, these type of vans aren't really set up as a shower. It's more, to be honest, as a rinse off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like when I've been doing me, me mountaineering, when I've been going up Everest and places like that, and I come back, and then what I do is I just like to have rinse a bit off. of a bit of a rinse off, you see. So really, if, if you're going to be having a shower, it's probably a proper separate shower is probably mm. best. But again, family four as well. You've got the kids, you can just give them a bit of a rinse off there. True. So or the dog. Or, or the dog, yeah, that's a good shout. Um, what's this going to cost? It's probably, I would have thought, 55s, I would have thought. Yeah, 55, yeah. probably getting on 60. You've got the premium as well with it being an automatic as well. So, automatic, it's got good miles on it. Um, it's a great little family van, actually. Perfect. Yeah. It can cater six. I think it would be a bit um, squash, but four is brilliant. Mm. Um, it's such a good bed over there, and you've got the bunks there. I think that'd be my bed. Easy <laughs> for me to get out, go to the toilet. Um, <laughs> What we do now, oh, I was doing the fridge earlier, I've had yeah. it on the electric, let's go and have a look, see if it's doing what it should be doing. How come it's still open? Oh, that's nice and warm. Now, I am not that, shutting yeah. it up and closing it all up until I'm happy. It's by way of karma. Right, 
So we've had this on for quite a while, this fridge now. And how are we doing? Oh, that's cold. That is cold. Yeah, that is cold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's freezing, that is. Ooh. So we know a fridge is working. You can stay on for a bit longer, Mr. Fridge. So we got there in the end on it. Um, what have we got to do now? Seal it. Oh, I've got to seal all that up yet as well. Um, I'm happy with the fridge. We've got all that working. So we need to. You have to clean this again, Emily. Um, and then we can get this then ready to go out. Um, that's so far today. It's HQ. Another day. Guess what? No rain. Yeah. We've got sunshine. We have got a bit of cloud though. That's what we have got. Today, I don't think I'm going to be showing you an awful lot. I've got my fridge on again, running with the electric. Oh, that's cold. Getting that nice and cold. Is it sealed up yet? Oh, no, no. I've got to get that sealed. Ooh, good shout there, Emma. I forgot about that. We'll get that sealed up. You put your hatch back on. Hatches back on. Yeah, hatches back on. You're all to sleeper. You are getting this one ready, aren't you? Yeah. Um, don't know again if we've shown you inside, just a quick look inside. We're getting the old, all the old sleeper. This is going out as well. Let's put some lights on. Well, oh, I can play with them all day. Hello. So we're getting that all done. Um, that's ready to go out this week. And then we're just finishing off the Camper King Monte Carlo. Yeah. Um, this is going out tomorrow. So there's not a lot to show you, um, but we'll, I'll just crack on what we're doing. I think, shall we show everybody a van in a bit? Yeah. yeah what well, are you doing with this? Looking busy, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you said you were doing stuff. Oh, I've just, well, I've just set it up ready. It's just a pre chat oh, okay. before it goes out. So I've just set it all up. Everything's doing what it should be doing. We're getting the water coming through. We've got the compressor, had the heating on. So that's all done. Um, that's pretty much today, really. Just keeping on top of these three vans, ready for them to go out. That's priority, because these are going out all this week. What did you want to show us? I am going to show you another van, but I'm going to show you a van with a difference. Don't know if you remember, I brought a van a bit ago and to do as a project but because we're so busy it doesn't get to be done a project but i'm going to show you a little bit update of what we have done too so this is the mouse mouse still got loads to do um tell you what i've done put a new key fob on it Ooh. Yeah. Uh, here's what we've done inside Sorry, oh, i can't take what it, is it is? No. <laughs> See, I've always, if people who don't know, what I've always wanted to do is, you know how people do the camper vans and the Volkswagens, yeah. I've always wanted to get my hands on a motorhome and just do it how I want to do it. So, Why not a camper van? Because everybody does a camper van, don't they? True. So, mind the mess, we've got the full system in there. We've got the lithium batteries by Ecotree. Um, we've also got the Victron stuff in there as well. So we've got the charging, we've got the solar. We've also got the inverter in there, so there's a fair bit of kit in there. So all that side's done. Now mind the mess when we go in. All right. So <laughs> what happened was we did find we were getting a bit of damp coming in. Right. Coming through, through up here. So what we did is we took everything off, sealed everything up. We also, just to be on the safe side, did the other side. So coming to the little um, abode, so as you can see, oh, let me just move that out there. Oh. So we've got the true Marita, we've got that. Now we've now got the new control panel for all the Victron stuff in there as well. Um, we have started on the um, shower. shower. Um, so we've redone all in there, so that's to do. And then what we did then is obviously we've put all new wood in in there and then we've got to put the cabinet back up and i'm debating on what to do um here what type of uh, paneling to put up basically mm. i have got um 
a worktop being made for here, which is pretty much going to match the shower. Yeah. And then I've also ordered some nice hobs and sink and everything to do there. We're going to put a load of LED lighting in. Is it in. going to be a three burner? No, it's going to be a slow burner. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. So we've got loads of different things in here. Ooh, so that that is the hobs actually in there. Um, so that bit's more or less done. We've got some nice LEDs going in. And what I did do with this fan is obviously there was a sink in there. I've turned it into a wet room. Oh, so a nice yeah. shower room in there. So does it not have a sink then? No, I took the sink out. They had a nice shower. Um, I also put a new water heater on it as well. And we have got gas low on it because I want it to be like based on like the Heim Adventure off rodery type of thing. So this is, it looks a mess, but yeah. it's organised mess. But that's like I say, we were getting damp in there, so we've re redone oh, so all that's that. That's why you've replaced the wood. That's why we've replaced all the wood, basically, mm. and put that in there. So the next step is I want to see how we've got here. Uh, remember for the speakers. That's the 12 volts of ignition as well, and then obviously this is for the for when the induction hob goes in as well, in there. Um, so it looks an all a mess, but I know what I'm doing, but what I want to do is to get the cupboard up there first, um, so I know where everything's going to go, and then we'll think about doing a nice backing around there, because mm. um, the cupboard is quite a nice cupboard, and I do like the curves what on cupboard it. What colour is it? Does it's it match like this, it all matches up nice. Oh. Um, so that's where I'm up to on that, this is a slow burner, um, I took it on, not really thought it through properly, um, so we're just chipping away slowly at it. But we'll get there in the end, we'll get there in the end. So there you go. Right, um, um, Volkswagen has gone out. Yeah. Um, customers are really happy with it. There's no reason not to be really happy with it because it's a really nice van. Um, I'm just prepping actually. Let me just. Why have I got Go loads of keys here? I've and got loads of keys. keys. I've got a bill as well. Stone chill. Let's get rid of the bill. And at the moment, we've got lovely sun and everything. We've not got a lot going on at Motro HQ. Well, we have, but this week is we've got, like, say, three vans getting out. So, priority is to get the three vans out. So, it's a bit like watching paint dry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Shed we've got a van cover. Go off, see what's that van cover is now. Is it coming or is it going? Have we just seen it on it? It's on the seam on it. Because we're based on a campsite, and especially when it does get busy in the summer months, we only ever move vans when there's two of us just to keep an eye out and just make sure. But it's amazing two people, what a tight space you can get vans into. So there's my little road room, that's going out tomorrow. I'm just going to have another once over again. I know that van like the back of my hand. Do you have two vans going out tomorrow? Yeah, we've got the Fairford going out I tomorrow as well. thought you only do one a day. No, I'm not doing that one. Oh, OK. I'm doing that one. Adam's doing that one. Mm. And then, if you have a look here, we've got an Adamo. That's yeah. in its spot because yeah. once I've got that one out, yeah. I am going to start to check this one off. So, let's, right, we'll have a look, can't we? Right, as well. Is there a lot of kit to this one? I don't know yet until I start checking it off. Got a drop down. Where have we? Oh, we've got a drop down bed. Bench seats, I bet you these are, they've got the, haven't they? Seat belts, seat belts under there. Oh, that's nice. Tall, slimline fridge. Yeah. And then at the back, I've got bathroom and lounge, and then lounge, bathroom shower. and shower. Um, it's quite nice, this room. It is, isn't it? I do like this. So that's the project. Now this one's sold, so I've got to start to check that off. Why is that like that? Oh, that's on auto, isn't it? We're not on, yeah, we're all off there. Off. 
So, yes. This can be a nice van to check off, isn't it, Emily? Yeah, it's I very do like wide that. as well. You've yeah. got enough space. I tell you what, to have a van only lasted a couple of days. Um, I think we mentioned it earlier in the yeah. blog or something. Shall we go and have a look at this one? Yeah. Um, because we probably might do a review on it, but it's sold so quick. Let's see why it's sold so quick. Let's go and have a look. Here's the hobby. Yeah. Let's have a nosy at it. Hobby professional. Ooh. It's a Vantana 55. Um, 2016. Look at the spotlight at the front of it. Yeah, we mentioned that. We did, didn't we? Said it was like the 80s. Yeah. Um. Repeating yourself. <laughs> Oh yeah? Why is that loads of pay? <laughs> this wasn't planned. <laughs> what did you say, Em? Why have you got loads of paper? Oh, I'm preparing for a video. We're going to do it in a minute. I'm going to do a video. Right. About. About. Is buying a motorhome a good investment? Mm -hmm. So we're going to find out, is a motorhome a good investment? I've got my little prep here. So when we finish doing this video, I'm going to, we're going to do another, when we finish this blog, isn't it? we're yeah. going to do a why video. a proper video, why is a veg motorhome or a camper van a good investment? Or which motorhome or camper van is the best investment? Mm. Yeah. And then I'm going to crack on with the little Rome Rome. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll tell you why this is here. I'll tell you why this is here. Because the customer has asked for a tow bar on. So it's just come back and it's had a tow bar put up. There. There, look. Hey. Nice tow bar. Look so at what, that. was that in there and all? No, that was the back bar on it. Oh. Okay. So we have to take the tow that off to put the tow bar on. What are you going to do with that then? Oh, we can give it to the customer. Oh, okay. Now oh, this is nice this. already before we get into it, isn't it? Yeah. Right, what have we got? Ooh, hobby, hobby. Nice interior, we've got the um, dinette area on the table. Just come in here, em. That's a nice control panel. Very simple, isn't it? No, it's quite, it's quite complicated, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> is that simple? <laughs> no, I take it back. Is that simple? you got music from your control you got panel, music, though. you got everything on there. Ooh, turn that off. Ooh, it doesn't go off now. Do you know what any of it means? No, not yet. Not until I've been in and had a look. So I don't know if it's me checking it off or not. Oh, yeah, look, <gasps> radio. Can't switch it off now, Em. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm too long. Anyway, <laughs> wonder if we can get a light on. Um, right, let's battle through this. Oh, look over here. Oh, right, we've got dimmers on the for the lights. Yeah. We've got the heating control there. I love this how this goes around. It's very nice. It's nice, isn't it? We've got the speakers in the back. We've got a transverse bed. Um, I'm having a look. Loads of storage there, isn't there? Storage there. And you can lift it up to like uh, bikes and stuff. Oh! 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 What's going on here? Oh! Oh, I'm getting lost. It's stuck. Ah, so we turn that around, you'll have to pop the camera through. Yeah, I'll do it. And then what we get in here is the toilet and sink. Is the... where do you get the tap from? I don't know. So there's the shower. Is... Down there. Um... Oh, well, it's, oh, it's all in one. It's all encased in one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is all encased in one. So I just swap around now, because this is bugging me now. <laughs> Oh, the thing's gone up there now, hasn't it? Is it touch screen? Oh, I don't know. No. I don't know. Oh, I've sussed it now. Sussed it. Why can't I get me off, Give me off? 
See, they all go along so you can... There, there, there. Oh, we don't want that. Oh! Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, the there. Oh, that's the clock now, isn't it? Oh, I'm having a mare here. Why wouldn't... Why wouldn't that go off, then? Anyway, we're boring everybody. It's what I'll... you get for coming in a van, is it? I've done it just. <laughs> uh, quick insight. Um, can't show you anything being fixed, which is good for us, but bad for you. So it's good for us because everything is working, everything's going well at the moment. The only thing we can't do is work out how to do this remote control. Going to do um, some reading up on it, aren't But we're going to have to work that out. So anyway, so we'll crack on and let's go make that video. One of the best manufacturers of camper vans. Ooh. So, let's do the maths. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Plane? It's a helicopter. It's a helicopter, not a plane. Fingers crossed we're going to get no rain, but these are dirty, dirty. Dirty cloud up there. Okay, today is handover day. We've got two vans going out. I'm doing that one, Adam's doing that one. I've got my fridge on. Check my fridge. Ooh, ooh, that's cold. <laughs> so, it's two vans going out, and then I'll probably have the afternoon starting off on the Adama and start checking that off. Um, and that's it. The problem is when everything's running smooth, there's nothing good for you, which is good for me, but bad for you, or bad for me for the content. Anyway, you know what I'm on about, I'm cracking up. <laughs> Just having a little play around in the bailey because I'm going to start checking that one off. Um, Swift Escape. I don't know why that's doing here. I think mm. Steve's doing a bit of work on it. Mm. Um, 664 Swift Escape. People are going to ask to have a look in it, aren't they? Shall we show people why we're on the little journey? Yeah, right. Why do you say yeah, all right? <laughs> Is it open? No, I'll get the keys for it. Why do you say, yeah, all right, with, like, a resignation of, like, it's a chore? Let's have an Ovi. Oh. Oh. That's a bit squeaky. Oh, this is nice. Look at this nice lounge area. Kitchen. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What? You will open it? I can open it that way. And guess what? I can open it that way. Why do they do? Do you all open the ones? I'll think about it. Oh! I need my health protein drink. Why think about it. it. <laughs> oh! I think I'll have my lettuce and salad. Mm. It's just a gadget, isn't it, really? Um, French bread. Yep. And then we've got... Oh, hey, that's, that's, a, nice. that's a nice shower, isn't it? Yeah. So that's just come over. Oh, I know why this is over. Why? For you to ballot it. Yeah. There you go. All right. The Dormo. Just spoke to you about that one. And Paul's just finished doing all these jobs on the Bailey. I haven't got the keys and I'm not going to get back and have another look at him. Hobby's well underway being checked off. Set toilets. Oh, it's an angle. Isn't it? Um, see how far we're up to with that. Warning's all on. Chucking away. If you notice here, I've got all my tools out. Oh, it's warm in here. So, yeah, looks like we're getting on with this. Um, yeah, so I don't know how far he is on it, but we're cracking away getting this one done. I think we mentioned the other day we got the tow bar put on this one, didn't we? So, I'll tell you what we're going to do, because everything's going well, and I keep harping back on it, there's not a lot of content to show you, 
when things are going well. So with just a second, if you remember, the auto sleeper Fairford went out. Yeah. Remember the camper van? Yeah. The little Rome Rome's gone on its way now. Mm. Fridge working. So with the auto sleeper Fairford, we've taken a part exchange. Shall we go and have a look at the part exchange? Yeah. And it's down here, and apparently it's number 26. So let's go and have a look. It's a caravan. Yeah. And it's a caravan. Yeah. Oh. It's a caravan. Now this is a coachman. Caravan. Ab Abaset. It's a 2021. It's a 545. And I've been informed, because all the lads have been in it, and they've said it's one of the nicest caravans they've ever seen. Mm. And Steve actually said, who's not a caravan lover, would say it's something he'd actually use himself. So, <clears throat> shall we go and have a look at it? Yeah. Oh, we'll do it in a minute, I'll get the key out. Uh, motor mover down there. We've got... <sighs> Oh, this is modern. Look at this. Oh, look at all this. We've got a little charger down there, a fast charge. This is posh. Look at the wall. Oh, wow, like there's fridge. Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, it's dual opening again, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I broke it. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to take the tap off that and put it on one of our motor homes. That's a lovely, look at that, a lovely tap. We've got a microwave in this nice. Oh, okay. to phone as well. Microwave's got kitchen in mm. Bit of branding. Yeah. And then, oh, and look what we've got here. Come in. We've got the washroom. Yeah. Just see over there, we've got the radiators. Yeah. We've got a toilet here. We've got a little bowl of sink. And then if you go around that way, We've got what's known as an island bed. And then we've got loads of storage. Just step back a bit because I don't think the legs are down. And then that's a nice bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll tell you what, they're right. This is a nice bed. Now the class in this, they'll class this as a full berth. Um yeah, yeah, there we go. Full berth. Yeah, I've got the separation there with the shower and toilet. But well, I tell you what, I'm making really nice two berths. There's just two of you. What a great little caravan. Um, why, why, why have you given me this piece of paper? Oh, yeah? Go questions. On. You got some questions? Questions? Yeah. Okay. So we've got questions off some of the comments that we've had in, so we thought we might as well answer them. Um, why show vans if they're going to the auction? Now, the reason why we show the vans is obviously because it's content. Um, it's not an all, also always necessary about showing ones that we've got for sale. We like to show all the type of vans that we get through because people, um, not so people don't, everybody who watches doesn't buy offers, but if we show every single style of the type of van, people that are in the market for motorhomes can see all the different um, designs and all the different layouts and everything else. So. Uh, we're not there just to go look at this we want to sell you this van we like to just show every single type of one um, so whether they're going off to auction or we're moving them on or whatever it's a good catalogue then for people then to see them um, Mark M you put here what can you recommend for living off grid for one person I think if you're going to go off grid and you're going to live in a van you want to go for the biggest van you dare to buy because space is always going to be the issue if you're going to be living full time in a van so try and go as big as you can you're probably going to go if you're off gridding you're probably going to go for a camper van route but try and go for at least easily 6.36 meters or if you are going to go off grid sorry if you are going to live in your kind of camper van or motor or whatever go fix bed because it's all about having a good night's sleep because you're going to be living in it so try try and go as big as you can so andy copgood is buying a motorhome or camper similar to buying a car finance repayments or do you pay cash um oh well, you can have most dealerships will do finance for you um and repayment plan and yes you can just well you don't pay cash anymore there's no cash about anymore you can pay by bank transfer or any way there um 
Tommy and Bella's adventures. What appliances can you use off grid? So the reason why caravans and motor homes are designed with gas and electric. So let's take the humble fridge. The what's known as a three-way. You can either use the electric if you've got a hookup in, but if you're off grid, you won't have an electric hookup in the van, so you would have to use the gas. A lot of the vans now are starting to go to compressor, which run off the leisure battery. So the reason why a lot of the um, appliances now, well, all the appliances have gas, is because then if you're out while camping, you can use the gas. But again, the hot plate you couldn't use because that's electric. Now your heated and hot water system, which just like this one here, is a Truma system. So they are designed to be used on either gas or on electric or both. So if you're off grid, you'd be using the gas. So if you're off grid, you're going to be using a lot more gas. It can get more confusing where you can have inverters, which converts to 12 volts. So you can use the electric as well. But something like a microwave or just warming up the kettle uses a lot of power and a lot of juice. So if you were off grid and you want to boil the kettle, you'd do it on your hob. So if you're going to be off grid, um camping and it's gas that you're going to use a lot more of so well are these questions up if you've got any questions for our blog pop them in the comments and we'll try and answer them um and also put your name down so we can mention you as well so new feature answering comments yeah. i like that idea anyway right. i think that's our day done today i think so um, no dramas, no nothing. Um, it's just this caravan, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, little pine. Look at that, they're not cute. Oh, oh look, there's down. a little radio. Yeah, We've got a lovely little, little cutie drop down. Yeah. Hey. I'll tell you what we'll do while we're at it. Let's have a look. Mm. That's oh. a good start. Leisure battery's down, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, leisure battery's down. But this is a nice thing. I do like this. Can't convert me though. No. no. Tell us down in the comments what you think of this um, Coachman caravan. Mm. If they've got an engine, I'd be interested in this. Listen to the birds twittering away. We've actually got. I bet you're a barrel of laughs. <laughs> um, what was all about now? I know. Birds. <laughs> We've actually got a nice sunny day for the last day of the week. We do. Showing a nice sunny day. Oh, okay. Right, we've had a really busy morning this morning and I'm going to show you hot off the press. It's that hot. It's that hot. We've just brought in two vans, just come in. We've just paid for them. Well, we'd have to pay for them anyway. And I'm going to show you straight away what we've had in. So we're right up to date. We've had... Oh, just have a look. Were they surprise purchases, were they? Or... Yeah, they, they were... Um... What do you mean by surprise purchases? Like, were you expecting to Yeah, they were expecting to... Yeah, they were both coming in today. Oh, OK. Um, basically, so they've come in. We've just gone through them, checked them all off. And I put them in the compound now, ready for to go off to pre-check next week. So, which one do you want to start with, then? The right. The, the right. right. On your right, yeah. That one. No, like, yeah, whichever the, that is your right key. Oh, that one. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what age it is. Let us know in the comments if you can guess what age it is. But it's actually an auto sleeper Montana on the Mercedes. It looks like the Mazan. Yeah, probably is. Right, let's have a look inside it. We have got, in fairness, in fairness, for the age of the van, it's in really good condition. Um, do you want to just nip in? Um, um, we're getting a wardrobe, fridge. It's a good size for the fridge. Yeah. Um, let's have a look what we've got under here. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, that's been loved, hasn't it? Look how clean that is. It's either loved or not been used. We've got the sink, and I'm guessing the sink's just going to be um, cold water. It's not going to be hot water. I'm surprised at that. That's sparkly. Isn't it? That's less work for you, Em. Yeah. The old style control system there. And um, we've got the LPG below there. Um, 
Yeah, there's no toilet, so it's going to be a pipes. Pipes, like your valves. Who wants to see me pipe? Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a grill under there as well. And then you've got the two seats here, two travelling seats as well. They are going to go um, and make up a single bed, two single beds you've got right. there. But I'll tell you what, it's in really good condition. Fair play. And then nice. just go down to the cab. It's on the Mercedes and it's auto. Ooh. That looks like an old racing car, doesn't it? I guess. Hmm. Right. Shall we move on to the next purchase we brought? Yeah. Out right. you go. There we have the auto sleeper. Now we've got, we've just brought in, check this out for a name. It's a Deathless Magic Edition. Ooh. T2. It's called the T2. I'm guessing. I'll show you actually when we get inside. This is a 2019. I think it's only about 5,000 miles. Um, lovely looking outside. Let's go inside and have a look. It's got Magic Edition written all over it. Got magic everywhere. Lovely the decals on it. Let's move inside. Dinetti area there, living area. This will, if you can see there, that will drop down to make up a single bed or probably a bigger double bed. Uh, it's a nice fan. And, and what I've always liked about the deathless is I love the control panel. Oh my! That's oh. Really, that's switched it off, switched it off. Nice that, isn't it? Yeah, that's proper stylish. That. That is. Moving on to the kitchen area, centre kitchen, three burner. Yeah. Oh, that one's a damn good clean. Ah, you're in trouble now, aren't you? This one's a good clean. Wardrobe. The bug of my life, just seeing that. So you've got the status sign up. You see that there? There's a little blue light on. Switch that off. Have a look in there. Oh, wow. That's nice, isn't That's it? That's nice. You like that? And then That's I nice. think the reason why it's called a T2. Look at that, there's a huge mirror. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a huge mirror there. Yeah. Right, and then what we're getting is the two single beds at the back. Oh, God, they're comfy. Two single beds at the back. Um, I think that's why it is called the T2. Um, so that's a death lease, it's 2019. I think these are anywhere around about 65,000 mark. Big bed. A big bed? I'm losing my words today. <laughs> big double, big fridge. fridge. Um, big freezer too. Let's have a look. Yeah. That's not right size, that. That is off, isn't it? There we go. Oh, oh it's come back on again. It's magic. Uh, get off! <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm going to switch oh, that. <laughs> Do you know what it is? What? It's magic. Hey. It's magic, it recognises. No, that's off, that is. Now, let us know in the comments which would you prefer, older or newer? Two completely different buys we've had today. I haven't got a clue what we're going to do with the auto sleeper, but we'll send them both off a pre check next week. And I'll tell you what, we'll see what happens with the results of them when they come back from pre check. Which do you prefer, newer or older? Older means more work. Yeah. That's what it means. It means more work. But that does look nice though inside, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like it's been loved, so we might keep it, we might not. Um we might keep this one, we might not, we don't know, but we'll find out next week when they come back of how they are. You again. Where are you going? Now the rest of my day now. Yeah. Last day of the week. Yeah. I mean, oh no, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to film the hobby, aren't we? Yeah. We'll give that a film and then I'm going to spend the rest of my day... Come on. Okay. <laughs> ...checking the Adamo off because the Adamo's sold. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing that. I'm going to get cracking on with this and then once I've done then, I'm off. And that's my week done. Rate your week. I'm going to rate this week is... Probably touching a nine. A nine? And I'll That's tell you why. It, it is high, I'll tell you why. I've got three fans out this week. Yeah. We brought a couple in this morning. Yeah. Um, 
We've moved a couple on as well. Yeah. Um, I think we've moved three on as well. Um, we haven't touched something, had any problems with any of the vans that have gone out as well. Hopefully I'm going to have a good day on this one. Um, up to date with me accounts. True, See, that's end of month, good. everyone's been paid. Woo! Did you get paid? I don't know, I haven't checked. Oh, don't check. Don't check. Don't check. Don't <laughs> don't check. Might not be anything there. No, no, don't check. Uh, everyone's been paid. Um, new new months to start off. Um, so I'm all happy. So if you enjoyed this week, like and start you see, yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah. Put a load of comments in. Let us know if you get any questions and we'll try and answer them.